two is Creamy Johns completely losing the rear of his car. And there you have it. A little bit of a lesson. Watch that one back a few times. And don't I mean, make it means five red lights going out. And we are underway in Hungaro Ring right off the bat. It's going to be the Williams with a phenomenal start there. Cotters. But watch out for McDonald's combo bag right up the inside. Be careful. He's going to lose not one but two positions if he's not very careful here. The Alfa Romeo sneaking through as well. The Alpine trying to look up the inside as well here. Needs to learn to defend off the start apparently. But Something there he's happened on track somewhere. It looks like a McLaren of CW Racing going a little bit in the wrong direction, but so far so good. Wow, what fantastic launches. Take those opportunities thick and fast when you can around Hungaro Ring. Being yeah, pressured absolutely. a bit there by an Alpha Tari as I look further back. Cody Lawrence has made his way up into P12 already. That's four positions gained on uh, 12 corners or so, and Mock Speed will be the next target on his back. And look, P3 at the moment is looking not to give up his position once again. It needs to close in on these top two, and he's doing well so far on Henners. Cody, the other Cody. This is the man right now, the Williams. He wants it back. He was not happy with his race start. Can Hannes do anything about this? Maybe yeah, even more than that, but these are the drivers that we've seen so far, and they've done well to keep in pace with what they have. We have DRS enabled as well, and this will be the first opportunity for drivers to start closing in even more so. And this DRS is this Cotter's chance to close in even closer to the Alfa Romeo in front here as they're coming through sector number two right now. About to see the split. about to see the splits. It's about a tenth quicker there from Cotters, maybe even more so as he looks to close in ever so slightly on oh. Henders, and there he is diving right up the inside. Take there from Cotters in a position where we don't see many overtakes, and now Cotters. PPR two PPR Esports America Tier One. It is the the, the, the famous the classic uh, Kerbsy and the Biggles in the box set, and hey, guess what? All the Gladiators are on track, mate. They're the ones. They're the real. They're the ones to shine, aren't they, mate? This is great. Brilliant racing circuit group. that shows how tight the top of the order can be. When one driver makes a mistake, all of a sudden everyone else will capitalize. Though we've seen that delta you between climb all the way back up. Remember, you only sector one, and now they got to follow each other all the way through the best, well, all one of the mightiest challenges there is, isn't it? From one circuit, the uh, 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 sector two. Quickly into turn five, you're going to be entirely compromised, and these drivers have done well so far to avoid that. But look out for that to affect them later on. As I was just about to bring up the penalties, well, can he make it stick? I think he can. Hannes is going to have to make him force up the inside there, and then I guess Hannes going to have to lift a little bit. So they're perpetual rain once again. This battle is continuing. This is F1 2022 when it comes to that DRS, mate. Yeah, that was great. Says, I'm going to eat some houses for breakfast. There it is, the Alphatari sliding all on through, my friend. Brilliant job there. Brilliant job there from Cody Lawrence. War Machine, 40,000, 50,000. Thank you for the follow, as well as Captain Miner. Thank you for the follow there. War Machine, guess what, Biggles? He's in Australia, and Henners is in the pits. Some yeah, idiot. Exactly. That's what his name used to be, isn't it? But now he goes by... Cody Lawrence, and that's P7, up nine positions, and looking to take a little bit of uh, rubies. You're going to put a little bit of ruby on his uh, many rings that he's won for races? Yeah, Biggles, go ahead speed and bring us is pitting as well. Mock speed, I'm not sure what tires he's going on to, but Henners went into the pits there from the top four or so, and he switched over to the medium, so it looks like a two-stopper from him, unless he's anticipating some rain later on in this race, which... Battle at the top of the timesheets. Are all on the soft tires. There's your graphic right now. So, mate, it's getting a little bit heavy on that uh, front left tire, which takes all the punishment around here in Hungary. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? In chain. So, I'll show you the capture leader at the moment. He's 16. So, looking good to get well, there. Cotters, Cotters into the pit. Sorry not to cut you off there, but just wanted to mention that Cotters went into the pit. Perpetual rain. He's in the lead of this race, you know, provisionally. Into turn one. Got the overtake done done everything he needed to do i'm telling you what right now a ferrari in 2022 is the car to be in clear of cotters as well look at that gap between the two they've made pit stops they were only about two seconds apart and now just doing some mental math here they're at least four seconds or so apart from one another maybe yep 
Does he have very damage? slight. I don't know if sure. that's any damage there, Bagels. But oh. they're still very close to one another. He's got to be careful. And it's it looks McDonald's like... combo he could just have a little bit more of a smile on his face. Knowing that he's 10 seconds in change down the road from the top three drivers that still need to box. Inside of Perpetual Rain down into turn number one. He's going to have that move done way before the braking zone. And that Alpha Tari of Cody Lawrence will be through for the lead of this race. Be behind Cody Coders and around where Fluffy Dave or Bard's territory is. So that's sad. But then again, he's got some fresh boots. But means fresh boots equal you have to do some overtakes. His P5 position. He actually showed the nose up the inside of the final corner. Doesn't need it. Has the DRS to carry him through into that P5 position nicely there on Creamy Johns. He's got much fresher tires and much fresher pace so as well. 75 front left. The only man remaining on the soft tires. And that's called risking it for the biscuit, mate, right now. Big time. Yeah, absolutely. Eve, is he ahead of Zach? And the oh. Alpine as well comes through there. They're going to be side by side. I think that was awesome there as well. Look at it. It's nearly four drivers. Potters just grabbed P3 in the meantime there into turn number one. Sorry to cut you off there, Biggles, but P7 as well for perpetual rain. So it's two overtakes into the same corner, just a couple seconds apart there. And Biggles, you Box. know that's Oh, and it's got Ruby off completely because he's got the overspeed there. Ruby's coming out of the corner and going, come on, bud, what's going on? You know the drivers. I was getting a little bit upset about that, but then again, hey, you're on those tires on Stoney as well on Austin. So battles everywhere. An overtake. Ruby Scream shoots us a DM as he gets through there on Zach for that P10 position. And that Mercedes gets ahead there after a little bit of battle. Started in P16. Oh, uh, this is spin for the Ferrari. If Kremer John's gone, I caught that on board. Now he is on old, old, old tires, 14 laps, and that's that. Uh, in the P13, can't pronounce his name right now. But uh, yeah, interesting call there. I'll pull up the gap to leader. Just to give you an idea what's going to happen there with Cody. I'm going with Cody Oh, right JB now. actually just grabbed that position from Pelletier. Hey, I, I was just on board with him at the moment. He ran wide there at around, I think it was between seven and eight in sector Bloody two. Is right there. There's the Haas, there's oh. the Alfa Romeo, there's the McLaren. And Cody doesn't box. Is it a full safety? No, we have nothing. That's crazy. And into the next corner, we will see Creepy Johns grab that P9 position. Looking further up the grid, Cotters has closed the gap. Just Biggles perpetual range challenging Fluffy Dave right now for that P5 position. I think this is the battle to watch right now. Is there's just three tenths between these two drivers here. Three here, but through the second DRS zone, will it be enough for perpetual rain to battle back against Fluffy Dave? It goes around the outside here and gives up shades of that Charles Leclerc battle that we saw. And gives up shades of that Charles Leclerc battle that we saw last year and they're still side by side as they go up towards the next corner now the aston martin and the alpha tari it's going to be the aston martin ahead now perpetual rain was able yeah, to get going to see about that nine and, and a seven laps so it's pretty much even steam definitely when it comes to those tires no penalties between those two gladiators but all man all machine all car all fun i'll tell you what 60 percent, 61 percent front left mate that's not too bad at all considering he's done all the race on the same tire he started with. Because that's, uh, as they say, it's uh, Monaco without the barriers, but I can guarantee you those barriers are there. And they will be reminding Cody if he makes a little mistake. Yo, I can't leave you like this. No, Come we're on, not going anywhere, mate. Perpetual rain. Uh, look out for rain! Yeah, have a look. I'm, I'm in looking yeah, out for rain. rain. I've been looking out for rain, mate, but I didn't see any raindrops yet. <laughs> so this time I'm talking about... And it's also nice in that little bit of naughty corner, three seconds there. Krabby John's picked up one, but so yeah, they're all nursing a lot of warnings too, mate. So anything can happen. Don't worry about it. 26 or 35, plenty of time to go. Yeah, not this failed is... at all to displease us. As here goes Perpetual Rain right up the inside there. He does manage to get through on Henners in the corner there, but Henners is looking to fight back into this DRS zone, but he doesn't have that wing open in Perpetual Rain. He's lost it once again out of turn number three, and now he's stuck. There he goes, gets it back into gear. There's Cody right behind Fluffy on cue, but uh, Jesus, if I was uh, Fluffy right now, teammate as well. 
Are you gonna let him through? No team orders. There are no multi fifty four. Oh, you sure multi about that? 54. Multi twenty one, <laughs> my friend. There he is, straight through. And even on those lap times as well. He set the fastest middle sector, and now Cody's gonna be just blisteringly quick down here, isn't he, mate? Wow. And yeah. candy from just... a perpetual rain, baby. Unfortunately for perpetual rain. It would be yeah, a really hard task, but there is one person right now. I used to be called what, AKA? Some idiot? <laughs> well, he <laughs> yeah, used to be a maniac, right doesn't there. he? Fresh entire <laughs> smell, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure if anything could smell anything, Cody's trying to smell a race victory. He's got four laps to do it. Do you guys think it's even possible? Oh, it's possible. It is possible. It's hard to defend from the final corner down to turn number one, especially with that DRS, if it does come into play. Happen but hands, you mate. add into the uh, effect of the DRS here, here for his first race and being hunted down by a legend like Cody Lawrence, who's been, I mean, he's been in the F1 esports scene for, as far as I know, about nine years he or so. Rumble with every... Oh, look at Cotters. Player. Cotters moves out of the way for him, and Cody gets through, and that's a smart move from Cotters there and knows, but he has to keep that gap close. He has oh, to Cody's keep... on a fly, and Cody could probably, if anybody could do it, look at that, almost two-second gap now to Cotters. 2.1. Cotters is going to be a little bit oh, of a trouble. Wow. What's happened? He has. Has he run out of fuel? Let me check that one. He has. His gas tank is on, my friend. Oh, He's no. out of gas. He's out Cotters of gas. Cotters has run out. Look out for rain. Is rain going to close in on him as well towards the end here? I know there's six seconds. Oh, he, he looks to close in towards the finish line here. Hayden will cross the line in P1. Hayden will grab another race victory here. In PPR Esports, Cody Lawrence will cross in P2, but look out! Perpetual is there for P3 on the final corner! We have Perpetual Rain getting through, and Cotters all dismay here for the Williams Garage grabs P4! I wonder if that was the key too. Did Cody Lawrence wait a little bit too late to mount that charge back? Because if you, if you basically allowed one or two more laps, he could have got that P1. Sorry, I'm gonna work on there on the top step. There it is. You are our race victor here in the America's Tier One and Hungry Round Seven. Congratulations, McDonald's. Special.